Hello everyone, Yoti Gestetner here for GestetnerUpdates.com. Uh, I have here with me the Honorable uh, Congressman Turner from New York 9th Congressional District. Uh, hello, Mr. Congressman. Hello there. How are you today? I'm doing very well. Thanks so much for giving us a few minutes. Uh, let's get straight to it uh, regarding the tax cut, the payroll tax cut extension. You sent a letter this afternoon to House Leadership Congressman Speaker Boehner and Majority Leader uh, Cantor asking them that they should continue fighting for a year-long extension, but now we get the news that uh, the Speaker may call back the House or have the House vote on a two-month extension. What's going on? Well, if uh, I'm called back, I'll vote uh, no. I think we have presented the Senate with a responsible plan that um, extends tax cuts for a year, extends unemployment for uh, this period up to 56 weeks, no longer 99, Mm -hmm. provides for the uh, pipeline, fixes the doctor uh, cuts that happen in um, Healthcare reform, uh, January, yeah. and um, it responsibly uh, deals with how to pay for all this. And, um, you know, it, it, it would behoove the Senate to sit down with us and, and get the conference. Uh, I think we have behaved properly here, <clears throat> and I don't see a good reason that this should be postponed and, and kicked down the road. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand this. The president asked for an extension for a year. The House is the one who gave it. The Senate didn't. The Senate voted only for two months. Yet the mainstream media has us all believe that the House is there blowing up Washington. I don't understand. The House gave for the president what he wanted in terms of extending the tax cuts. So why isn't the Senate blamed for not giving us a year a year long extension? Well, I think they see a political uh, uh, game here. And um, I'm a little embarrassed that some of the, the um, Republicans uh, folded on this uh, in the uh, Senate, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I'd be a little um, <clears throat> embarrassed for the House as well. What will happen in the House is that there will be enough people like me that will vote, um, no, let us hold firm to the uh, year, and, um, but the Democrats will come over and, and get it passed. So... Mm -hmm. um, I'm uh, I'm disappointed with the whole process. I I I sure can. So so the only reason why the Senate Democrats gave two months is because they decided not to put in the the pipeline issue, which is which is I don't understand because after all I think the State Department was one of the three uh, cabinet departments that needed to confirm this project, and the State Department review said yeah you can go ahead with this project, and I think uh, Canada now said hey listen not the United States if you're going to play around another few months. I'm going to take this project. I'm going to send it. I'm going to send our oil someplace else. We, we we need to produce. We need an economy. We need jobs. I have times for your environmental shtick, as they would say in New York. Um, mm -hmm. So you know. So the question is, you know, why why wouldn't the Senate, you know, some Senate leaders put in some sense in the president's uh, mind and say, hey, listen, Mr. President, we we got to have it. We got to have this pipeline. And why not have two and one? The extension. Yes, I, I... Uh, I, I think uh, we may still be able to get the uh, the pipeline done, but um, I'm uh, despairing that we're going to get um, uh, much accomplished uh, in uh, next year. Mm. All of the big issues, I was disappointed enough that the balanced budget failed uh, last year. Mm. Uh, but uh, the only thing that is going to save this um, uh, economy, as far as I'm concerned, is uh, we take back control of the White House and the Senate. Yeah. And it'll have to be done in, in uh, 2013. Mm, I understand. Um, I would like to ask you know, two more questions uh, outside this uh, tax issue, if you don't mind. Number one, uh, I don't know, maybe you, you said it already, and I, I'm just not aware of it. With whom are you going for 2012 on the Republican side? Which candidate? Uh, I'm going to go with the winner. And um, the process is uh, long and arduous, and I think the best candidate will emerge. Uh, I'm not going to uh, weigh in on, on my preference. I'm going to let the process work. And um, I think anybody there except uh, uh, for me, Ron Paul, would be uh, uh, acceptable uh, and a candidate that could beat um, uh, this uh, administration. So let, let the games hey, continue. Honest, they say you, uh, you and Ron Paul are, are not acceptable? <laughs> Uh, he's the, the the only one that I think his foreign policy is 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 just not uh, not workable. 
not worth, well, certainly not in the Middle East and Israel. Yeah, he got a lot of people uh, rattled. And what's up with your um, the redistricting process in New York? Do you think the leadership, uh, the, the the state assembly, the legislature, and the state senate are going to cut you out? Or do you think... Um, I, I think we can make a very good case why this uh, district should uh, remain. Uh, and um, I, I'm optimistic that it will work out that way. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. All right, sounds uh, sounds fair enough. Uh, all right, Mr. Congressman, have a good uh, have a good evening and uh, happy. Well, well, thank you very much and happy Hanukkah. Amen, yeah. amen. Sure, Thanks.